Hey y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking about uh, the importance of carts. So I think one thing that I've realized when I was um, starting my photo and video journey, um, especially in college when I was supposed to go to the equipment room, rent all the equipment for the production that my friends and classmates were working on. There was all these multiple trips that we would have to take. If you don't have a way to move a bunch of equipment all at once, what you'll notice is you're spending a lot of time just going back and forth and back and forth and literally just lifting stuff. And that can be a real burden on your day when you're blowing through an hour um, of your say eight to 12 hour day just in physically moving your stuff. So I bought this cart called a rock and roller. A lot of DJs will use it. A lot of video people will use it. Um, and there's all sorts of accessories that you can buy and I've bought a couple that I found to be useful. One, the, the tabletop uh, is an amazing thing that you can set on you know, on top of your cart very quickly. Um, this one from Rock and Roller is just literally just a cheap piece of plywood with metal rails on the bottom for support. Um, but what that allows is like, you know, if you just need a setup area, you can set up your camera or you can, while you're moving stuff, stack cases on top of it. Just so great <laughs> and so um, convenient to be able to have your own space rather than take up tables around you and, and furniture around you. One thing that I've realized is that like, if you can create your own space for yourself, that helps out um, the clients around you, it helps out the talent around you, um, not have to always be interacting with all the boxes and stuff that you have. It helps you keep your stuff organized, you know, make yourself look a little bit more professional on set by, by having your stuff in one area and always clean rather than just scattering your stuff about. But man, that tabletop has come in handy rather than um, find, you know trying to ex expect there to be tables that you can just take over for all your little camera pieces while you build at the beginning of your shoot. Or even just to set your camera down in the middle of filming a bunch of B-roll. Um, so, so helpful. One other thing that I've found to be helpful is RoboCup. So it's a cup holder system that I got off Amazon. You can buy these little Nalgene extensions so you can hold four cups. But you just clip it to the side of the cart and now all of a sudden, your table that you're carrying around doesn't have to have drinks on it. So you don't have to have drinks and cameras um, all together. I even use it for some of them for my phone or other small things, like if I'm setting down a battery or you know um, some extra, like little rec audio recorders, just throw it in there really quick. Um, another style of cart that um, I've recently got into has been my Milwaukee tool roller case. Um, so I actually learned this from um, an audio guy um, carrying around his audio gear. He used this rigid lock toolbox locking system um, and where sound carts will often be thousands of dollars and are very nice and very customizable with these huge tires and rack mounts. I'm at the stage when I'm, where I'm, when I'm freelancing for sound that I needed some way to organize stuff that I wasn't just always um, mixing and repacking my pelicans, but I just had the stuff um, sort of by itself. So I found one of these toolbox stackable systems. The Milwaukee ones, I really liked the way they locked um, together, and I like the options of boxes and small cases. Um, you can see that two of my cases are used for like wires and small lavalier stuff. Another case is for microphones and, and some wireless systems. And then my bottom one just holds my recorder and some extra cables and stuff. And I, I can throw it all in there to protect it. I can use those cases to send in an airport. And then, you know, when I'm moving from, you know, 50 feet from the next location or flipping a room for an interview shoot or, or just moving your stuff out of the way, it's so convenient and helpful to be able to take my stuff, my audio gear, stack it on top of each other and just move it 10 feet. And, and that's just phenomenal. It, it's super helpful with time saving. It's super helpful with um, bit like saving your body. So just not having to carry cases like back and forth and back and forth and up and down stairs or up elevators. You just wheel one thing on, go up, and then you're there at your next spot. 
that is just unquestionable about how helpful that is to your business or your freelancing career or anything that you need to move a bunch of stuff. The rock and roller is cool because it collapses. That's another um, fun little thing. It collapses so the arms fold down so you can fit it into your car or it even expands if you're just using it for say case, a bunch of cases. There's plenty of fancier carts out there. Innovative and Pro-Aim are some really cool ones where they, the top shelf and the bottom shelf flip over and then everything stacks so you can even ship this while you were say at an airport and then arrive, build your cart and now all of a sudden you have a cart you can carry around. They pack super small. Um, they are more expensive, but they are significantly nicer in quality. And that's one of the useful lessons that I've learned in my video business has been how can you have items when you're able to afford them that help you save time, they help you save your body, and um, they give you your own space. And film carts and audio carts, any sort of thing with wheels, honestly, to move your stuff is one of those super helpful things. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one with um, more video tutorials and gear reviews and other helpful lessons that might help you in your photo and video journey.